Where everybody, this is Buddy. Man, we've had some crappy weather for the last four or five days. Um, it was supposed to be probably close to 15 miles an hour today. Up here on the hill, you can see the grass moving. You can see that uh, it might be there, but down there where I need to kite is it, there is no white caps. I mean, the white caps are not even in the blue way out there. So the wind direction is not exactly right, and it's just it's been blocked out. Uh, something going on in the, in the Atlantic has got has got our trade winds messed up, to say the least. Ah, uh, it I, I it just I'm I'm, I'm discouraged. Uh, that's all I can say is. You come to a place like this and you want to kite, and uh, man, you just, you all, you, all you need is just good wind. You need the wind to cooperate. But there's people that take vacations and come here and have good wind for a few days and they get the kite. Well, I've already kited more than most people on their vacation. So I ain't got no complaints except I need more time on the water. For me to be able to really be comfortable on Table Rock Lake, yeah, I'm talking Table Rock Lake. <laughs> I'm talking Branson, Missouri. I'm talking about kiteboarding on Table Rock Lake. And um, I'm really gonna set my sights to doing it. I may need a wetsuit, so I need me a sponsor there in Springfield to <laughs> sponsor me with a wetsuit. Because I, I really don't know uh, how I can take that cold water in uh, Table Rock Lake without it. But I don't, I, I'm not educated on how many meals it needs to be, you know, how thick it needs to be. But I'm going to get caught up on it because I, I believe I can get a few days every so often when the wind blows from the north or the south at Table Rock Lake. But. It's beautiful out here. It is gorgeous, but there is not enough wind to kiteboard.